After years of dreaming, the day has finally arrived. I'm flying on Emirates Boeing 777 in one of their private and luxurious first class suites, all the way from Hamburg to Dubai. Let's find out together what it means to fly in first class on one of the world's best airlines. Enjoy! Following a short visit to the impressive Emirates lounge here at Hamburg Airport, I proceeded to the gate. My level of anticipation for this journey ahead can't be put into any words. The 6 hour flight to Dubai will definitely be an experience of a lifetime. So let's board and explore the beautiful first class suite of Emirates. Though the suite was introduced more than a decade ago, it has not lost any of its shine. The only thing missing now was a glass of champagne. A few weeks back, Emirates signed an exclusive agreement with LVMH, making Emirates the only airline in the world to serve Dom Perignon in first class. Once I finished a delicious glass of the vintage Dom Perignon, the crew nicely informed me to stow away all my luggage as we were ready to depart from Hamburg. I've flown out of Hamburg my whole life, but today is definitely the most special takeoff I've had in a long time. To my surprise, the whole cabin stayed empty, making me the only first class passenger. It seems like no one in Hamburg wanted to pay the full cash price of close to 10,000 euros. On the 6 hour journey to Dubai, Emirates offers their signature Dine on Demand service. The menu card is impressive and extensive and you are allowed to receive any item at any time without worrying about any specific order. Can I start with caviar and then order something later or how long does it take? Until then I wanted to see what makes flying on Emirates so special. All first class suites are fully closable by the touch of a button. Closing the doors at my own seat was something I've never experienced before. The British sound experts from Boas and Wilkins have created these headphones exclusively for Emirates. When traveling in first class, every passenger also gets a bag full of all the essentials you could need on a long haul flight like this. These include comfy slippers, a well sized amenity kit, which we will open up later and your very own moisturizing pyjama. The Bulgari amenity kit offers everything for man and woman, from hand mirrors to facial cream to lip balm and a shaving foam. Let's store everything away and enjoy my first ever caviar service. Luckily, the stewardess was beyond helpful and explained in detail how to eat caviar in a proper way while setting up my table. Emirates serves caviar together with seven side dishes, including melba toast, egg, white onions, sour cream and lemon. Paired with a shot of Belvedere Vodka, Caviar Goes Down is one of the best appetizers I've ever had. After requesting another glass of champagne, I received another starter, the traditional Arabic Mezzi. Especially the Muhammada combined with the flat bread tasted exceptionally well. Now for my main, I opted for the steak in the hope to eat the best steak an airline can possibly cook in the air. Don't get me wrong, it tasted totally fine, 
but when traveling in first class I would still assume to receive meals that I cooked to perfection throughout. For me the main course looked like it was served without the attention to detail compared to all the starters I had before. Luckily you can't make any mistake when serving ice cream. So I also had a small serving of ice cream before ending this first dine on demand service on Emirates. Even though the flight only lasts around 6 hours, I couldn't resist to ask today's crew to convert my suite into a comfy bed. Within minutes the seat was converted into a fully flat bed, so all I had to do was to jump into my pajamas, head to bed and enjoy laying under the famous Emirates stars. The comfortable bedding provided made it hard for me not to fall asleep because laying here almost makes you forget that you are high up in the air. 30 minutes later I was offered a selection of cheeses as well as three different red wines. Naturally I had to say yes just because I'm not gonna fly in first class again anytime soon. For someone who doesn't drink red wine on a regular basis, this wine tasting was something I wouldn't want to miss when flying in first class. As today marked my first ever flight in Emirates first class, I also couldn't skip on the fruit plate that was offered an hour and a half before approaching Dubai. If there's one thing I had to criticize on this flight, it would be the bathroom. While Emirates offers a massive luxury bathroom including showers on the A380, the Boeing 777 offers the same bathroom in first class and economy class. The only difference are the small amenities provided by Bulgari. Nevertheless, the past 6 hours have exceeded my expectations and have spoiled me for all upcoming adventures in the sky. This was honestly the best flight I've taken to date. Everything on this journey was in true first class fashion. The private suite, the amenity collection, personal dining service and the endless entertainment options comfort your journey on a level that I did not expect to experience on a commercial flight. I would like to thank you for flying Emirates in partnership with Malaysian Airlines and Qantas. We hope you enjoyed the flight and we look forward to see you again soon. A very good morning. Once we landed in Dubai, I was taken to the terminal by a private first class bus. At the terminal I was then picked up and escorted through immigration and into the Emirates Business Class Lounge. Because up next was a flight on Emirates Boeing 777 in Business Class. But for now I'd like to thank you for following me on this special journey to Dubai and I hope to welcome you again in one of my next videos. Mm -hmm.